Hello everyone, welcome back to our community. We're starting a new vlog and people are watching me, but I'll talk to you in a minute. <laughs> taking an e-bike to try a new workout class. Okay, I've been meaning to try this class for a while. I can't dance, I hate choreographed classes, but it seems like it's maybe not that. It's Sydney House, Sydney Miller's class housework, so let's go see how it is. up a wrap from the deli and chowed it down. I'm gonna go get my nails done. It is only like 1.30. I still have so much I wanna do planning wise. I wanna do financial planning, content planning. That is gonna be the entire second half of my day. I'm gonna film it, but I cannot look at these nails any longer. Like truly, something has to be done. So I'm gonna go read my new finance book that I actually wanna share it with you. I'm gonna go bring my Kindle. plan with me video. I've been doing a lot of my non-vlog style videos with a separate mic just because the audio is so much better and I have it from my podcast. I ended up stopping pausing my podcast and taking a little break. I'm just finding myself really way more financially driven these days because I already have taken this leap before where I quit my full-time job and I try to make it. I think last time I was way more focused on numbers and followers and validation in that way and this time I'm a lot more more like I want this as my career longevity I love video production with YouTube like there's just such a deeper stronger why and more like responsible especially honestly like with planning a wedding like I just am feeling more financially driven than ever and not in a way of like I'm gonna take on brand deals that you know I don't align with nothing like that like I have no interest in doing anything like that the one thing I've been passionate about and consistent with for the longest time that I never grow bored of or sick of it's always YouTube so I just found myself like wanting to pause on the podcast and that kind of just happened organically so kind of taking a pause there this is set up I'm gonna move the camera that you're sitting on up there and we're gonna do a little plan with me but I did just quickly want to talk about the finance book that I'm reading because that is a big part of what I'm about to film in my plan with me. Quickly, just want to show you, first of all, I Will Teach You To Be Rich by Ramit Sethi. I am loving this book. It is really hard for me to even get into a fiction book, but I'm like zooming through this for me. It's kind of wild. And I was talking to my sister while we were on vacation this last week in Florida about how I find it so hard to find the time to read. I really only read for like five minutes before bed. And if I'm not really into a book, like it's just not happening. And she was like, I always read read at the nail salon and I'm like that is so smart I always listen to a podcast so I decided midday to go read my finance book at the nail salon and I got through so much more than I've ever gotten through so I'm always gonna read from now on at the nail salon loved it she was like put the font really small so you don't have to keep clicking it genius tip but anyway I don't know if it's just because I'm getting older or because this is my second time quitting my job or I mean I'm also getting married and I really wanting like a house and also like honestly with the wedding stuff I am fortunate enough that my parents are mainly throwing the wedding which is so generous and I'm so grateful and so lucky but I also want to be able to kind of like throw things in like if video is really important to me and there's really you know with my budget that I have right now I'm not exactly able to add in video to my photography budget I just want to be able to add things in without thinking about it I think that's what we all want right we want financial freedom we don't have to rely on a man or parents or anyone I think I'm just feeling like, okay, cut the shit. Like we're turning 28, I'm getting married. I wanna leave the city, I wanna have a house. That should not be all on Ethan. We are building a partnership together and it's easy for women to kind of like turn a blind eye, but once you start having real desires in life, I don't know, a time comes where you're just like, why don't I know anything about finances? So I'm loving this for me book because it's really simple. It's about like tangible things that we can do to set up like auto payment, building a higher credit so that we don't have to, you know, so we could take out loan 
loans for a home one day without having to owe more money. Just like, I'm learning a lot in a really simple and like easy to read way. Like he's talking like he would podcast, I feel like, but it's also really tangible tips of like what you can do right now. And it's set up kind of in this like six week program. And so at the end of every chapter, it's like a new week. So I just finished the first chapter and it's like, okay, so with the next week, given everything you just learned, like here, let's sum it up. These are all the things you're gonna do. So I just finished that chapter and the first chapter and week was about like managing your credit score, your credit cards and any debt that you're in. So the six like tips that I need to do is just like kind of review the credit cards I have, any annual fees associated. They gave you like scripts to talk to your credit card companies if your fees are too high. The last thing I need to do is make sure that I have auto payment set up so that my credit card is always paid in full every single month. I think I got into that trap of like, let's just pay the minimum kind of thing just because I didn't know any better. And I kind of just go in and do it. And I knew that there was a way to set up auto payment and that it was probably easy, but I just never took the time to do it. So I'm gonna do that. As the chapters go on, I will learn how to like set it up so that my investments are, you know, every month like auto paid some of my money into my investment account. I have an index fund that I already have money in. Luckily, I did one thing right. I don't think it'll be in this book, but I'm going to look up right now um, how much percentage of my income I should be putting away into savings for taxes as a freelancer. A lot of entrepreneurs and freelancers get stuck during tax season because they didn't put any um, money away to pay taxes and could be like seven to ten thousand dollars i don't want to be in that trap so i need to figure out what was my income freelance wise this month what were my business expenses i need to open up a business credit card figure out which one to open up gonna do a lot of finances in this month's plan with me and then just plan content for the month all right so that's the plan i'm gonna just fix my hair put on some mascara and then film the plan with me Okay, it's a few days after I got that whole tour of peoplehood, got the whole rundown, and now I'm gonna go head over and take one for myself. 